Very interesting. The repo man got canceled. Yes. The repo man got canceled. You know, uh, I want to start this car dealership and I've been talking to a lot of dealers and car people and the number of repos at auction are dramatically down. So I started to do some research and many lending institutions have, due to COVID, have paused repossession activity. So right now, you have a lot of people who are behind on their car payment. And because repossession activity has been paused by many of the major lenders, cars aren't being repoed. I want you to think about that. Cars are not being repossessed. Um, another thing that's happening, there are many homeowners who cannot afford to pay their mortgage. Many homeowners are in uh, the forbearance program and because many banks have paused foreclosure activity, there are some people who are not in a formal forbearance, but they're not paying their mortgage. And th this is where it gets wild. We have all these people who are not paying their bills, paying their mortgage, paying for their car, and then we're getting these stimulus packages. So essentially, you have people who are behind on their bills, who are getting additional money through the government stimulus packages, through the uh, essential bump on unemployment. And this is creating a very strange, propped up economy. A few weeks ago, when that $1,400 dropped, activity exploded. People were going out to eat, uh, people were taking trips, people were investing in the stock market. Activity exploded. Also, I'm going to give you some hint, insights on the commercial real estate market. You would assume that the commercial real estate market is in the dumpster. It's not. I'm looking for commercial real estate. Uh, I'm finding some uh, properties that, that have been empty that I know of. They've been empty for a while because I live in the neighborhood and I know they've been empty. But desirable properties are hot. Desirable properties are being snapped up. Uh, business is still going down. And also, a lot of restaurants closed, right? But many restaurants are having issues finding employees. Look well, like, I mean, it's, it's like a very strange and weird economy. Very, very strange because up is down and down is up and it is, it is artificially propped up. It's artificially enhanced. And this is what's crazy. This could go on for two or three years. Housing, right now, a lot of houses have been pulled off of the market. Uh, there is a shortage in housing. Housing is bananas. If you're trying to buy a house for under four hundred thousand, uh, you're in a bidding war. You're in a bidding match. Um, and essentially, if you find something you like, you need to close on it as quick as possible because there ain't no negotiations right now. If you want that house, the price is the price. If you don't want to pay the price, someone else may pay that price or even more for that house. And one of the things that's happening is the price of construction materials is going through the roof. I remember buying some two by fours for like a buck or something, yeah, years ago, right? 
two by four is nine bucks. 10 bucks for one two by four. So people who are trying to build homes have seen their construction uh, budget inflate 40 to 50% because the price of materials has gone up. So we're in a very odd, strange economy because Dodge Corn, which was created as a joke, is making people money. Um, very, very strange economy. And I feel that if you are steadfast, if you actually sit down, put your head down, go to work, you're gonna be okay. However, it's gonna be very hard to ignore the strange economy. Because I feel this is setting the stage for some form of universal basic income. Because right now, we've got a form of inflation. Housing, the housing material's gone up 40%. That's inflation. Um, housing prices skyrocketing because there's a limited supply. That's inflation. So we're going to be in an inflationary spiral. I predict for the next two years. Because what's gonna happen, like with COVID? Um, I feel that there's gonna be certain things in place that you're gonna have to be vaccinated to fly, vaccinated to go back to school, and in many cases, you're gonna have to have vaccination to go to work. I think that's coming. But the knowledge on that is once you get vaccinated, you're gonna to have to take a booster shot each year. So it ain't like a one and done. You know, you're gonna to have to continue to look after your health in regards to this. Um, really, really strange economy, strange, strange economy because essentially because of the government stimulus, because of their Fed, the stock market, I, I haven't looked at it. It was booming at one point. I don't know what it's doing right now. Um, but real fundamental marketplace forces are not activated at the moment. Because if these people who were behind on their mortgage were being foreclosed on, there would be more houses on the market and housing prices would not be as high. But because we have the government prop up of the economy, you're seeing crazy housing prices. You're seeing people who are desperate for a house struggle and they're like, really in a different place like uh, I was something else is happening too Uber Uber is always surging now there are less Uber drivers on the road less Uber drivers on the road and I think part of that is that some people are scared I can understand that I mean Uber you're picking up strangers, you're exposing, every time a stranger gets in your car, that's a new potential exposure. Um, so I can see why some Uber drivers have like, hey, I'm not driving, but once again, that's inflation. I, I had to take an Uber, it was like 38 bucks for a trip that normally would have been about 15. So we're, we're starting to see a lot of inflation in this economy from housing to um, housing materials to Uber to we're, we're starting to see. And like I said, I don't think that this is going to reduce itself in 2021. I think this is going to go into 2022 even may go into 2023 because 
once again, even if most of America gets vaccinated, which is what we're trending towards, um, there are many parts of the world that are still locking down and our infection rate is still going up. We still have people who are coming out with COVID. Um, I know someone who has COVID now, who just got diagnosed with COVID and she's quite ill. Um, so we're gonna be having this the rest of the year. And it's gonna go into 2022, perhaps into 2023. So we're not gonna have anything that looks like a normal economy for a long time. I would predict 24 months. If then, if then, because one of the things that is happening with the government prop up, because essentially we got the Democrats in office and the Democrats want to provide all types of stimulus. Uh, the Democrats want to um, provide even more stimulus. And I feel that this these payments to parents is gonna be some kind of version of universal basic income. And with that, we're going to have more craziness because each time there is a release of stimulus money, we see a bump in the overall economy as people start spending. So I predict, and I may be wrong, but I predict that we're gonna have another stimulus package this year because luxuries once tasted become necessities. And right now, you know, America's like, we want Democrats to be in power because the Democrats are gonna give us stuff. And that's what happened. And we saw this uh, election night, Biden was flipping states like people flip dominoes. And the people have spoken. So we're going to see a form of accepted socialism in America. It's coming. It's coming because right now, this is something that has happened to many, 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 many people. Many people got addicted. Well, I shouldn't say addicted. I should say that due to the pandemic and being forced to be at home and many people were forced out of work, this is the first time that so many people had time to reflect, had time to look and to examine their lives. And I feel that entrepreneurship is gonna to go to an all time high because when these people were sitting at home and they were reflecting and they were looking at their lives and they were taking inventory of their lives, the dissatisfaction at the way that they were living loomed large. I mean, you, you like, I want you to think about it. For the first time, especially when the people who got unemployed and they had that $600 additional per week stimulus. There were many people who were making more money in that situation than they ever made when they were working. When they were working. So this created a new thinking space. People were like, I'm at home, I'm paying my bills, I got money coming in. And they started to think. And they started to become very, very dissatisfied with their lives the way that their lives were. They became very, very dissatisfied. And they became disenfranchised and disenchanted. And many people are now looking because uh, one of the things I've seen is I've seen more YouTube ads from people I've never seen before who don't have a social media following, who just started running ads, um, than I've ever seen in my life. 
and I, I feel that this is part of it. Uh, many of these people's like, I'm gonna start an online business, I'm gonna start running some ads, I'm gonna get me some revenue going, yada, yada, yada. And with this propped up economy, with this craziness that is going down, we got people in weird spaces. I, I want you to think, you're sitting at home, you ain't working, your unemployment is paying you an additional $2,400 a month. So you're getting like $3,600 a month unemployment benefits. And now you have all of this free time. You now have money and you also have time. Money and time. And I think this has created some disharmony with many people who are like, because like, like I said, luxuries once tasted become necessities. So people got a taste of what life could be like. So if I had some money, my life could be like this all the time. I could be at home with Big Booty Betty. I could be hanging out with Baby Bamboo. And we could be having lunch. I could be drinking peach mimosas. Uh, I don't want to go back to work. And there is uh, a number of people, once the pandemic's over, they're not going back to work. They're going to quit their jobs. I think it's like 25% are planning to quit their jobs. 25%. And that number's probably going to climb because people have been impacted with what it means to control your time. What it means to control your life. What it means to be rich with time and not be preoccupied and concerned with money. So we got all of that going on in this strange economy. And what I feel is once everything, once real market forces come back into play this is where we're going to see big crashes they're like right now, right now like from commercial real estate because you would think that commercial real estate is in the toilet it's not i'm out here looking for property I, i'm i'm trying i'm finding out that um million dollar properties are selling left and right i'm finding out office space is a challenge to find so commercial real estate on many levels, like at the mall level, it's a it's a dumpster fire. Commercial real estate at the mall level is a dumpster fire. But the smaller uh, properties, not not the case, not the case. They're still they're still coming off the market. So once again, in this weird economy, up is down, down is up, and it, it doesn't make sense unless you really look at the data. You look at the overall data. You under you get a firmer understanding of what's going on. You um, pay attention because in this collapse that's coming, it, 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 it could be a year off. It could be two years off. But make no mistake, at some point, real marketplace forces are going to enter the market. They have to. They're going to enter the market, and then the reality of the economy will be exposed. And that's when we're going to see a crash. Because what I feel is once the rubber band snaps, once the housing, like, at some point, these folks cannot continue to be putting off their mortgages. They're going to have to start paying. Uh, there are many people who think that they're just going to move these payments to the back of the mortgage. I don't think that's going to happen. And I feel that once the rubber band breaks, we're going to get a glut of cars entering the market, which is going to crash the price of cars. We're going to get a glut of houses that's going to enter the market. This is going to collapse the price of housing, collapse the price of building materials. And I don't think it's going to be like a slow thing. 
I think it's just gonna be like, bam! That's how it's gonna drop. And if you are in the marketplace and you are not paying attention and you're not aware of what's going on, you could be caught up in a bad situation because one of the things that you have to understand and one of the things that you have to know is if you're in business, you've got to be paying attention to this stuff. You've got to be aware of this stuff because if you don't, like uh, I saw a guy who sells cars and when the prices got ridiculous, he stopped buying cars because he says, I don't want to have a bunch of overpriced inventory that I can't sell once the market adjusts. Funny thing, <laughs> my phone got hot and shut off. But um, we were talking about he didn't want to buy cars because they were too expensive. So when the market would drop, he would be stuck with expensive inventory. So right now, this is my advice to you. You want to start a business right now with all the craziness, with all the things that are going on, you want to start a business. And this is why. Regardless of inflation, whatever, once you get to the apex of value creation, you get money. So even if, let, let's just say you started a business and you were doing a cleaning service and you were charging a hundred bucks per cleaning, then inflation kicked in and it was $400 per cleaning. Guess what? You're still making money. Even though there's inflation, even though the prices went up, you're still making money. And because as a business owner, you're going to be able to create more value, more cash, you will be able to ride out this inflationary wave. Because right now, we're going through inflation. We have inflation with cars, we have inflation with houses, we have inflation with building construction uh, products, we're having inflation with some commercial properties. So we're in an inflationary period that is set up by the artificial economy. We're in an artificial economy that is being set up because they're not doing foreclosures, they've slowed down on the repos, and there's tremendous stimulus in the economy. So be prepared. And if you wanna get into the business thing, go below and enroll in the art of holding. The price isn't gonna go up to May and this is gonna be really good for you. So that link's below.